What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and join this tribe. And if you've been tuned in, well, you already know the vibe, man. We back with another video. I know it's been about, you know, a week or so since I dropped the video, but listen, I'm back with some fire and I want to make sure that you guys are getting what you came for. So I'm going to be back up with the uploads. I have a lot going on in my life. Appreciate your patience. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the fragrances that I wear. Guys, as we know, fragrance matters. Smell is important. Scent matters. The way you smell can literally make or break the situation. It can make or break the deal. It can determine whether or not someone likes you or doesn't like you, right? They can be attracted to you or not. We're talking about, you know, how to become better men, how to become better people in general. Guys, I thought it would be cool to share, you know, my collection of fragrances just to share exactly, you know, what it is that um, I w I've been wearing. That way you can uh, maybe get some inspiration. So I'm going to start with straight up like this. By dropping the Givenchy. Givenchy. Okay, this is the first fragrance that I've worn, guys. Uh, the first fragrance that I wore. This is the first fragrance I want to show you uh, that I have been wearing. I mix it up. Uh, this is an Eau de Toilette. You guys know your Eau de Parfums, your Parfums, and your Eau de Toilette. So, there's different levels of fragrance. Um, this is Givenchy. Um, made in France. This is a simple, you know, six millimeter. This is all like a travel size. So, I can, you know, this has been lasting me for years. I don't know. I don't know why, but these I have a few of these little bottles. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. And it's not like you don't need much of this stuff. It's so powerful. It's really good. I love this. It's Giovanni Gentleman. Um, super great fragrance. But for what I'm feeling, you know, business, you know, when I'm feeling, you know, professional. Um, one of my favorite scents to go to when I'm feeling, you know, sophisticated and sexy. You know, and I want to feel very masculine and um, you know, high status. I definitely choose this one. This is one of my go-tos for that. Maybe I got a hot, hot date. You know, I really want to make this. You know, I'll, I'll wear this. So that's definitely one of my favorites right there. The Givenchy Gentleman. Um, next one I've been wearing a little bit recently. It's called Misoni. Misoni. And this is also... Um, oh, no. This isn't... Made. This is, where the hell was this one made? Italy. Made in Italy. This one was made in Italy. And this is an Eau de Parfum. So this is an Eau de Toilette. This is the Eau de Parfum. Basically, you know, the perfumes have more um, oil rather than alcohol, right? So it's just different concentrations. But they all smell good. This one right here, Misomi. Um, I wear this one, you know, on occasions. Kind of like, you know, I wear this for like going out to, uh, you know, like a nice formal dinner or maybe uh, just going to some more upscale areas. You know, I wear this one when it's, uh, you know, when the time is right. I love the way it smells. Um, very good notes. Um, hard to describe the fragrances, you know, but trust me, this is definitely something you guys could check out if you liked it. It's, it's really good. Misoni, made in Italy. And you know, different fragrances have different occasions, I would say. Different occasions require different fragrances. So depending what I'm doing, I've kind of known, like, okay, what I'm going to wear because I know how these fragrances smell, so I match it up for the occasion. This one right here, it's pretty dope. I like the way it looks. Um, this is called, this is an Eau de Toilette as well, and it's called Wanted. Wanted. These are all designer fragrances um, that I'm going over with you guys, by the way. Don't feel like you have to get the designer or, the, you know, any type of high status stuff. You know, you can get cheap cologne 50 60 bucks 70 bucks whatever 100 bucks and then eventually get into luxury designer brands if you want to but as long as it's not axe or some horrible like really just cheap quality it'll be all right um i love fragrances i take it pretty serious so i've created quite the collection here so yeah this is wanted and uh made in france azaro is the azaro a-z-z-a-r-o is what it is wanted azaro wanted Really, really cool fragrance to me. I uh, love the bottle. Super unique. Reminds me of like a revolver. Oh, yeah. You can see it at the top. It says AZ. It has the name of it at the top on the letters. I don't know if you can see that. Azaro. Anyways, it smells pretty good. Um, yeah. Ooh. This is my... Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is more like a party. Like a party. You know, like I'm going to be around a lot of people. And there's a party. It's kind of the light, more fun. Uh, just uh, relax, kind of a casual, upbeat kind of a smell, if you will. Now, I definitely choose this one. It's really fun. It's my go-to for those type of situations. Next fragrance, guys, is called Wood by This Squared. 
two or maybe it's this square two by wood. I really don't even know which one comes first. I could do some research on it. These were actually gifts. These last, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Um, and the one I'm about to show you. I'll show, in fact, a lot of these are gifts. So, um, you know, I haven't done too much research. I just know that the design are good quality um, and they smell great. So this one right here is again wood d squared d squared two cool cool bottle really cool you know and it's let me see it's made in italy and i wear this one like when i want to go for a like a dominating smell like when i want to dominate the room or i want to be bold and i want to be um how do i put this like a little bit more aggressive and edgy i go with this one it's very you know it's got the wood note so it's got it's kind of heavy and uh it smells really great so i'll use that for that when i'm looking to be kind of uh you know strength and it's so, it, like that goes it feels strong and be strong you know i'll wear that it's a good one. by the way guys check out c4 if you haven't already c4 energy awesome energy drink uh definitely my go-to they hooked me up with a fat case uh, four cases actually of c4 this is not a sponsored post but check out my instagram or check out their instagram check out the website maybe i'll get a uh, partnership link and i can post it on the page uh, for you guys coming soon anyways uh, moving forward the next fragrance guys right here uh what's this this one is really good you might have heard of this one before it's called versace eros arrows right the eros um definitely a popular definitely sexy smell to this one and i use this you know on occasion um the versace logo is really cool the medusa head and again this is something when i'm feeling exotic when i'm feeling sexy when i'm feeling like you know i want to like turn a girl on or turn a woman on or, or you know i know things are going to get freaky you know what i'm saying this is definitely something i put on um as well as when uh you know i'm Preparing for you know for like a nice romantic evening or something like that. This is definitely something I go to for that. The Versace heroes. Um, the next one I'll show you guys. Uh, this is another one by Versace. I bought this one for myself. Um, it's almost gone. I get well. Still, can tell you there's a good amount, right? But. This one, this is lasting me for a while. Um, it's Versace, the Dreamer. This is an Oud de Toilet, obviously. Uh, made in Italy, because Versace's made in Italy. Yeah, I couldn't see if this previous one was it. This is the, these are both Oud de Toilets. Both the Versace's are Oud de Toilets. So, for everybody wondering. Pretty cool bottle though. Um, really, it's that's kind of what I liked about it at first. I loved just the design of it. I loved the gold. I loved the way that the bottle was crafted, and of course, the smell, the name of it, Dreamer. Mm, I just love this scent. So, I wear this pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Honestly, that's <laughs> this is one of my go-tos. I just makes me feel very casual. Very smells good. I feel confident in it. It's my definitely one of my everyday scents. It's just chill. It's not too overbearing. Um, it's light, it's fun, it's clean, and it's fresh. So I definitely choose this one a lot, hence the amount that I've used. I just got rid of a bottle of my Dior Sauvage. Some of you guys may have seen that or heard about that. I just used it, so that won't be making an appearance in this video. I just do it out like last night or the day before. So that's also a recommendation. Dior Sauvage, really good. Definitely a go-to. Uh, anyways, moving forward um i have let's see let me see let me make sure i don't knock the camera over got a few more right here these next three i'm going to show you all come from Scentbird. I should have a sponsor with Scentbird. I should have be partnered up with Scentbird. I wish I did, and soon I will. I'm speaking into existence. Scentbird is a really cool guys. If you haven't heard about Scentbird, make sure you check it out. Scentbird is literally the go-to spot, my go-to spot to get fragrances because they have 
pretty much every single fragrance you could possibly want. And you can get it sent to you in a bottle like this on a subscription basis. So every month they'll send you a brand new fragrance. And the fragrance that comes in the bottle, it's always high quality, it's always real. And it's for a fraction of the price of buying like a real big bottle. I know a lot of times cologne can be expensive, fragrances is expensive, and that deters a lot of you from actually buying fragrances. So that's what Scentbird is for. You can literally get about a month's worth of cologne. And depending on the occasion, I mean, these things have lasted me longer than a month. That's but what's supposed to be like, I think 120 squares, uh, squares or something like that, sprays. I don't know exactly the number, but it's definitely, it's eight milliliters, okay? It's an awesome company in New York, Scentbird. What they've done is amazing. Um, again, they're taking the hassle of having to pay a lot of money um, on one fragrance, and you can literally get like a bunch of different ones sent to you every month. So you can try different fragrances, see what you like, and not break the bank. So, guys, if you want to check out Sembird, make sure you do that. Uh, hopefully, soon I'll have a collaboration and a partnership with them so we can get you guys a discount. But moving forward into the scents that I've gotten from Sembird, um, and it's cool because they send you this. You know, they, it comes in these are the fragrances right they come in a bottle like that and they give you this travel spray case right here this is the, this is the travel spray case so you, you, can, you take your bottle and then you just pop pop it in twist it close it and if you want to use it you just spray it pretty simple straight up awesome and uh the fragrances i got number one get a room this is a really popular one uh, Confessions of a Rebel. This is Oud the Parfume called Get a Room. This smells really good. I wear this whenever I'm about to get a room. You know what I'm saying? Or be in a room with a woman. You get what I'm saying? So uh, this is definitely something I wear to feel, you know, attractive, to, to arouse, um, you know, the opposite sex. This is definitely something that I love this one right here. It's called Get a Room. It's very popular. You guys should go check it out. The next one I've been using on occasion is this one right here. This is Gucci Guilty. Um, really fucking popular. Gucci um, Guilty for home, right? So it's the men's version of Guilty. Really a good fragrance right here. I use this whenever I'm feeling badass, you know, whenever I'm feeling like a rebel, whenever I'm feeling a little bit on the wild side or I'm feeling like a... A mobster or a gangster or whatever i throw the gucci guilty on and i go and do my thing man because this one has just that vibe to it it's just a vibe you know what i mean so i definitely fuck with the gucci made in france the usa uh the the uh the get a room one is made in usa pretty cool gucci guilty though made in france and it smells great and recently i also got this from Scentbird. This is one of my favorites of all time. I use this only on special occasions, and it's Creed Aventus. If any of you know about Creed Aventus, you know that a bottle of Creed Aventus can run you up to three, four, five hundred dollars sometimes, uh, just depending on where you're at and which one you get and stuff. So, the fact that I'm able to go to Scentbird and get a bottle of Creed Aventus that's going to last me, you know, it's lasting me a couple months at this point. It's still plenty full. I literally only use, I only, it's because it's an Eau de Parfum, it's so powerful. I don't need that much for it to lot, like, probably smell good, right? So a couple sprays of this, boom, on, on special occasions, and you smell like a winner. You smell like the man, okay? This cologne right here, Creed, definitely my favorite um, as far as just overall. <laughs> it's just, I've gotten the most compliments on it. It's the most high status one. It makes you feel like a straight, sexy boss, uh, and it's hard to beat Creed. That being said, um, I do have two more to share with you guys. This one right here was a gift from my girl. We were in the store and she bought it for me. This is Chanel uh, Blue. Definitely a popular one. Definitely a classic. And it's super, super fucking fresh, man. This is a very handsome fragrance. Um, I wear this when I'm feeling handsome, when I want to be handsome. When... Uh, mm. Mm, dude, all these colognes smell so good. Oh, man. But yeah, the Chanel, man. I wear this, you know, when I'm feeling handsome, when I'm feeling like, you know, like Papi Chula, when I'm feeling 
Like I want to pop that on, I wear that. And uh, it's a pretty fat bottle and still got a lot left in it. And I, I share this with my girl too. So it's like together we haven't even, she wears my fucking, she wears my cologne sometimes. It's kind of funny. But um, yeah, I mean, this bottle's lasted for a while. With the perfume made in France, it's 150 milliliters. So definitely a nice fragrance, nice gift. Uh, and then lastly but not least we have this one right here this is i picked this one up recently this is also a gift my girlfriend bought me this one is uh ysl this is yves saint laurent um this is the le parfum this is like the best of the best le parfum i guess i don't know if i made that i don't know if i said that right i don't know if it's the best of the best but i'm not a professional when it comes to fragrances but I could do a little bit of research and let you guys know. Let's do that real quick. So I'm not misspeaking. I got to keep the bro. I got to keep you guys on point and know, you know what I'm saying? Know what's up? Levels of cologne. Let's just Google this real quick. So we have body creams and lotions, which is three to four point percent. Um, okay, I see. Concentration, fragrance. Okay. So yeah. Your eau de toilettes, like cologne is just like not even shit, right? Nothing. And then you got eau de toilettes, which is like only four to eight percent. Um, you know, fragrance, the oil that is, and then the rest is gonna be like alcohol and stuff, other chemicals. It comes out of concentration and quality, guys. And then so your EDTs, your EDPs, and then your perfumes. So the eau de perfume is a bit more than your toilettes, as you can see. Uh, with the eight to five, fifteen percent, and then your perfumes. Are gonna have 15 to 25 percent these are usually gonna be your higher priced but obviously they're gonna smell better and last longer so guys if you like this video if you thought it was informative or if you got any value from it if it was just cool to see you know come of the fragrances that i wear make sure you do me a favor smash the like button it really helps and if you made it all through the way all the way through the end of the video i really appreciate you i appreciate all of you for watching the videos and uh man make sure you check out all the links down below in the description i'm gonna be dropping more videos so turn those post notification bells on you don't want to miss anything coming up in the future Make sure you guys get my book, New You Now, A Guide to Amazing Improvement. And as always, stay happy, healthy, wealthy, blessed, and focused on success. And when you see me drop another video, you already know what to do, man. Tap in. Thanks for watching. Peace.